Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is K Felix and I welcome you to K Felix Inspire, the channel that gives you great inspirational videos, great music videos and of course trending stories. Well if you are new to this channel and you'd like to be part of K Felix Inspire and follow what we do here, I kindly ask you to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell icon so that you get all notifications whenever we post new videos. All right, in this video today, we take a look at a very trending story here in Zambia about the death of a fish where the students from the Copper Belt University are mourning this fish. This is a pet fish popularly known as mafish which has sent shockwaves across the country with reports of a planned funeral procession to be held in honor of this pet fish, which has been considered a good luck. You know, as you may be aware, this is a story that is going around. Um, we have seen so many media reports. And without m wasting much of your time, let us get into this video so that we get the details and the full story about this fish called mafish. This is an old fish that has been uh, at the Copper Belt University for more than 20 years. This fish was a symbol of good luck, was a symbol of hope and strength towards the students. It was a fish that was uh, peculiar in nature. Every year towards the end of exams, this is when this fish would only appear on the surface of the ponds. And uh, usually what uh, students believed in and what would happen is uh, when a student is approaching their exams and they go towards this fish pond, if this fish surfaces itself and swims in excitement when that student is near the pond, it means the student is going to really uh, have a good luck in their exams. And then when a different student goes there and this fish decides to stay underwater, what would happen is uh, it would send a bad message to this student that maybe something bad academically is about to happen to this student. So it was a fish that uh, a lot of people really put at heart. I think even if you had stress, it would be like a stress reliever to you. That is why even um, the highest year of study at the Copper Belt University, their nickname is called uh, Mafishi because of this fish. This is also a fish that's on the Copper Belt University logo. And so much so that people are now even talking about giving this fish a, a state burial. Although I see others are saying, OK, how will the burial be? Will it be broiled or braised or, or put on, uh, you know, some people who don't respect the fish and the custom so much are uh, making a joke out of it. But seriously speaking, how, is it going to be buried in any special way? Are there any kind of things you're doing on the campus to mark Mafishi's passing. Yeah, the, starting uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday, students had the candle lighting for it, where others even gave their experiences with uh, the fish. They had what something that I can call maybe something like a bonfire, where they sat around the fire and shared their experiences with this fish. And as of today, they uh, also sang the national anthem alongside the fish pond where they, this fish used to stay. And they threw flowers, actually, actual flowers in the fish pond where it used to stay. So uh, our students here are demanding that this fish should not be buried, eaten or burnt, but it should be embalmed and it should be preserved. So it's almost like a protected institution. It almost makes me think you've now got guards making sure that nobody has taken the carcass of this fish away. Is that what's happened or where is the fish right now? Uh, that's what's actually ha happening and it's the students themselves that are protecting the body of this fish. It will be rotting, though, unless you put it in the freezer. Yes, it's in the freezer awaiting uh, embalming. What kind of fish was it? Can you describe it for us? It was a very beautiful fish in appearance, and uh, it's a brim fish. Yeah, it was a white brim fish. It was um, ranging from 70 to 100 centimeters. And will you now find a new m mascot? Uh, this fish is irreplaceable, so it's really going to be hard, but we'll try to find at least one. Everybody 